September and today we're going to learn how to read time to five minutes. If you haven't seen my first two videos on analog time, go back and watch those ones first. We're going to start by looking at minutes past the hour, then we're going to look at minutes to the hour. I have made a clock to show the minutes. To make things easier, the minutes on a clock are grouped into fives. We can see there are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 minutes in an hour. If we look at the analog clock, we can see the hours go up in ones. Whilst the minutes go up in fives. We can also look at this on a number line. The hours are going up in ones. And the minutes are going up in fives. Here the minute hand is pointing at the five. So the minute hand is showing five minutes past. If we move the hand along the number line, we can see it's showing 10 minutes past, 15 minutes past, 20 minutes past, 25 minutes past and 30 minutes past. We can see how this looks on a clock. When the hand is pointing at the five, it is five past. Then 10 past, then 15 past, which we know from our last video is quarter past. Tw then 20 past, then 25 past and then 30 minutes past which we also know is half past. Now we're going to bring in the clock showing the hour hand next to the clock showing the minute hand. The hour is pointing just after the five so we know it will be something past five. The minute hand is pointing at the ten so this tells us it is ten minutes past five or ten past five. If we look at this with two hands together on a clock, we can see the hour hand is just past the five. And the minute hand is pointing up to the ten. So the time must be ten past five. If we look at another one, we can see the hour hand is between the nine and the ten. So the time must be something past nine. If we look at the minute hand, it is pointing at 20, so the time must be 20 past 9. If we look at this with two hands together on one clock, we can see the hour hand is between the 9 and the 10, and the minute hand is pointing to the 20, so the time must be 20 past 9. We're now going to look at minutes to the hour. If we look at an analog clock, we can see why minutes to are a bit trickier than minutes past. The minutes going round the clock don't help us so much as they keep on going up. To work out minutes to, we need to count backwards from o'clock. If we count back in fives from o'clock, the minutes are five minutes to, ten minutes to, 15 minutes to, which we also know from our last video was quarter to, 22 and 25 to. If we look at the clock with the hour hand and the clock with the minute hand together, we can see the hour hand is pointing to just before the three. So we know it must be something to three. If we look at the minute hand, the minute hand is pointing to 10 minutes to the hour, so the time is 10 to 3. If we look at the two hands together on one clock, we look at the hour hand first, which is nearly at the 3. And the minute hand is showing 10 minutes to, so we can see it is showing 10 to 3. If we look at one more, we can see the clock with the hour hand is pointing between the 5 and the 6. So the time must be something minutes to six. If we look at the minute hand, it is pointing at 25 minutes to two. So the time must be 25 to six. If we look at 
the two hands together on one clock, we can see the hour hand is pointing just before the six and the minute hand is pointing at 25 minutes to. So the time must be 25 to 6. In our next video, we're going to be looking at time to the nearest minute. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye.